Okay, here's a run through of the 11 ounce mug animated mock up. The first thing to do is to disable the top space saving layer, which is that one. You can either click the icon there or you can drag the whole layer into the bin. Okay, the next thing to do is get your design on the mug. So, to do that, you've got this layer called step one double click smart object. So, we double click the smart object. Let me say it says here step two double click and keep me hidden. Yeah, remember to keep this 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 layer hidden because this is the smart object, but it is repeated in there. So that's the thing to keep visible, and this is the one to keep it hidden. But to get the design on, we just double click it. Okay, there's my uh, placeholder text. Let's go to file place embedded to get your design on it and go to your hard drive wherever you've stored your designs size it as required this is going to take up the whole area of the mug so you just stretch it to fill the area when you're happy close it and be sure to say yes and then close this so be sure to say yes and there you go and as I said this is this is going to take up the whole area of the mug my design so let's take a look at the where it joins the handle but to do that you need to turn on the timeline so that's in window timeline and here you've got this little scrubber here to rotate round and you can see the scene there. If you don't want that, just go back, double click, double click, and then let it transform, scale, drag, drag your design in. Obviously, you might want a bit at the top or the bottom as well. So yes. Yes. And there you go. Obviously, um, squeeze it more on the width if you want um, the design to come in further. And again, on the height as well, if you want it to come further down, just move it around. There you go. Now to preview it, you can. Uh, I press space and it. it goes through and it builds each of the um, the frames press space to stop it once it's built the frames it's smoother now on darker designs you might find this reflection a bit too much you can either go to the reflections and change the opacity there you can dial it down if you prefer it be less obvious or you can turn it off completely or if it's just not working for you there are I've put a couple of other ones in there that one there less in your face Sorry about that, I just had to stop it because um, Photoshop's throwing a wobbly. Um, I think I fixed it and I'll save that in the uh, the actual product, but there was the, uh, the screen wasn't working on some of these. So like I was saying, we can turn off the default background in favour of one of these other ones. It's a more flatter reflection and there's also one for no floor. That's useful if you're, if you're just having a solid background like, um, for example, and no shadow perhaps you just want it on a plain white background the uh, the no floor just gets rid of the reflection of the floor and the bottom of the mug but let's keep it with the default turn the shadows back on like I say they're optional and that as is the background 
replace that with whatever you want. Just click the background and then just file place embedded if you want to put something over the top of that instead. And I think that's everything. I think the only thing to mention now is when it's time to, to create your video. Um, when you're happy, you set up the, everything as you want. Let's put the shadows back on. You go here, click that, and then you render video. Anything you really need to change, you probably keep keep all the defaults. Select where you want to save it. So when you're happy, just click render. And let uh, Photoshop do its thing. It might take a minute or two for it to render, depending on the speed of your computer. I've got a f fairly fast machine, so it's not taking too long. When when it's finished, go to you, your uh, the place you saved it on your hard drive, and there it is in this case. That's it. Okay, that's that's that is definitely everything I think.